Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for June the 28th, 2011. Now our first position for tonight is going to be in the E-mini S&P 500 September futures. We're going to be looking, we're going to stay with the primary trend here even though we're seeing some, uh, some volatility, some corrective move hires higher excuse me we're gonna stay with the primary trend which is clearly down it's uh, been down since about the uh, on the on the e-mini here for about the last month now we've got some key levels uh, 1282 41 1275 69 and 1275 14 with a close of 1276.25 so not an overly aggressive close on this we're seeing uh, some semi positive news out of the eurozone but there, there's really not a lot to be positive about over there in, in my opinion here nor is this really a positive environment for equities in general so with that said we can see that our predicted short medium and long term differences are hovering right around the zero line basically flat our predicted MACD and our predicted TSI are a bit of a concern here because of the, the oversold nature. So we can expect to move higher. What we want to do now is just kind of hone in on that area. Now, looking at the crossovers from vantage point, we're going to look here. We can see we've got the, uh, we're going to start with the short term crossover from vantage point, still crossed over to the downside, trying to move back up. Our medium term crossover is still crossed to the upside, but basically running flat and our long-term crossover remains completely flat. So from here, what we would do is look to the daily report. Now, if we bring up the predicted high and low from vantage point over the last uh, three months, you can see it's very accurate. We, what we've got here is we've, we, we've tagged or actually broken through the predicted low uh, pretty much every day for the last several days. So what this is telling me is that we're gonna stay within that primary range. So from here, what we do is we go into the daily report from vantage point and we look to fine tune this entry point. We've closed at 1276. That's up from Friday's close. That doesn't surprise me for Monday trade. For tomorrow, we're looking at a range of 1287.12 to 1271.17. Now you can see that our predicted medium and long term differences are positive. Uh, our predicted short term differences still remains negative. Our neural index is up. So we can expect the market to move higher but that doesn't that isn't suggesting a trend reversal the neural index is at best a 24 hour indicator that's it so it's giving us a warning sign that it's going higher so your aggressive players they can they can buy the bottom and sell the sell the top in this particular scenario which is not a bad play but i would be very cautious buying period i would be inclined to sell into strength and follow that particular pattern that we've had for the last uh several several uh, weeks now an example of this type of strategy bringing the the triple ma back up you can see that these candlesticks are moving up into that 18 day predicted moving average there's basically been four short opportunities in the last five trading days so selling has consistently produced a, a very good uh, position now not to say that buying buying down here is hasn't been could have been profitable also but very, very risky because you know we've still got this euro thing hanging over our heads so for tomorrow we're going to focus on staying with the primary trend here and selling into that 1287 area now that's our first position for tomorrow now our second position for tonight is going to be in the dollar yen currency pair. Uh, you know that I've been recommending longs on this for for several several weeks, probably over a month, to my direct clients to continue to buy down off this 80 area. Now in this particular case, what I really like about this one, this looks like it's getting ready to break out. We can see the predicted TSI, the predicted MACD has crossed the trigger in oversold territory. Our predicted short, medium, and long-term differences are breaking above that zero line, and our triple EMA cross is just about complete. So looking at this particular position, you can see the short-term crossover has crossed over the trigger to the upside. The medium-term crossover has also crossed that trigger. The long-term crossover also crossing that trigger. This is a leading indicator for what is likely about to happen and that is uh, this thing going higher. So we've done some pretty solid analysis on these crossovers. The other indicators from vantage point are all fresh and in complete agreement here. So when we see this type of scenario this suggests that we're get, we're going to have a much bigger move on this currency pair in the uh, hours maybe days ahead. So for tomorrow we're looking at a range of 
8064 and 8029. Now our close today was 8091. So we can expect a relatively shallow pullback here. Uh, your aggressive traders can go in at 8064. Your less aggressive traders, uh, we might see a little bit deeper of a pullback. I would suspect maybe the 8040, 8030 area. So we've got two potential entry points. Either way, our exit point for your intraday traders, day traders, 8129, your medium to longer term traders. Uh, if we can stay above this 80, 8050 level, we should be able to push towards the 8250, somewhere between 8250 and 84 over the coming days ahead. So again, there's a couple of different trades there, a couple of different entry points, but either way, we're looking to buy on a dip. So with that said, uh, again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com, and these are the market positions for June the 28th, 2011.